All right, when you put these screws in, you want to put them in at a little bit of an angle going in that way. And if you're using treated wood, make sure you use deck screws because the regular drywall will just rust out in a year. And what I've done here, kind of carry you up to date a little bit, is we're going to be putting three foot by one eighth inch hardware cloth in here to keep the insects out like we did over at Deep South. So I have three foot from the top of this board marked up with a mark, magic marker on the other side of this pipe, which is the bottom of this board. And then I start on the other end and I have exactly 16 feet marked. Uh, I mark them in four foot increments. That way when I put my pipes up, I can pull my pipes to the center of that mark. And that keeps every pipe exactly four foot apart all the way down through the whole thing. And then this board will be almost perfectly level uh well it will be perfectly level when i get through with it even though if it's warped a little bit this will help hold it now these straps i put on ahead of time i pulled a string down through here and this was the center of my board i had on the other side marked and i moved down and put this strap this two hole strap right below that mark and i screwed it to the pipe that way when I come back, because I've got some physical issues, I can't lift these boards up and hold them because they're too heavy. I put the forks on the tractor and I take the tractor and lift it up so it's right level with my three foot mark over here. And because the two hole strap is already screwed with a tech screw to the pipe, all I gotta do is just screw the board and the forks holds it. It's, it's just a lot easier on you when you got physical issues. best helper you ever bought didn't it yes it is a set of forks on a tractor is invaluable i'm gonna tell you it's worth every dime you spend on it Tip for the day, screw them at an angle yep. and don't use cheap screws. Don't use cheap drywall screws. <laughs> now drywall is okay if you're using untreated wood, but why build something as permanent as a high tunnel and use untreated wood? I mean, just use, great. it's copper, uh, uh, I used to use copper sulfate, but now it's uh, micronized copper. It's not harmful to the environment or anything like that so i mean why not use it you know and just be done with it now we look down our board and we are good and good and straight now one more. You know, the next one, I will actually. It's shorter. It's uh, it's a 12 footer because this is a 60 foot, and that's 12, 24, 36, 48. And then we do 12 makes 60.
these boards on, make sure your screws, I'm using inch and a quarter. Uh, you could use inch and a half would be fine, but you have to make sure you run them at an angle because if the points of them stick through, when you roll the plastic down, the plastic will hang on them and it'll tear your plastic. On a greenhouse, you want no sharp points if you can no, help it. No sharp points, no where. And because I don't have a hammer out here with me. That's your hammer? That's my hammer. Improvise? Yes, yes, yes. We're right on our mark. And you really want a long screw for this. I'm just temporarily putting this in here because i got to go back to the shop to get some long screws. But that'll, that'll hold it in place until... So I get ready to use it. All right, another side. Well, I gotta move the tractor back. I gotta put one screw in that, and then I got the whole. I gotta put some more straps over here because I ran out. I went had to go get some more to put in that right on. And then the top ones. Then after this one will come the top one, and the top one will be done exactly the same way. I'll just pull the forks up and set them up right up here, and I'll just slide the board up on the forks, and then I'll just lift it up there and hold it way up yonder, and I'll just. Get up on the ladder and screw it off after I put my two hole straps in up there. And then I go, I'm a little bit overkill. I will come back. I have a whole box of bolts in my truck, it's quarter inch bolts or carriage bolts. And I will drill a hole from this side over here in the center of this board right here, over here, through this pipe. I have galvanized carriage bolts. The carriage head will be on this side so there'll be nothing to hang in the plastic. And I'll put a nut and a washer on this side just because we live in hurricane zones and these little screws in this lumber ain't quite enough, I don't think, for hurricanes. Uh, our last two that we have over at uh, Deep South Homestead, they've stood 100 mile an hour winds with no problems. So I feel like that I'll probably should do the same thing at Pecan Grove. And I, I have them already. It's just a matter of getting these boards up, coming back with a drill, drilling them and just putting them in. Oh. Yep, right there. Down just a touch on that one. Those of you wondering why I leave it sticking through so far on the other side, that is because if I ever get ready to run <clears throat> conduit, water, or anything, I got a piece of thread sticking out to hook a bracket onto and put a nut on the back side of it and I can run it down the wall here. I hope I got enough battery for this one.
Every well, now and then you find one of them, don't you? Yeah, you get, get all wet and it's cold. I gotta mm. drill some holes at the bottom of these pipes to let that water out. Not all of them have it. No. Good thing it's in the 60s today. Yeah, when you get your belly wet and everything. <laughs> you never know which one it's going to be either. Because you got the screws at the bottom. I've done some of the screws at the bottom so that they'll... And that one's out, so... And it still had water in it. It still has water in it. What it tells me is i got to do is it kind of... So it'll drip. There you go. I thought I had them loose enough that they would not do that until we got that top on this thing. But some of them you didn't back out enough. That's what makes three that you found on the whole thing. Uh, yeah, three so far. So most of them's doing what they should. <laughs> 